Hey everybody, how's it going? Doctor Incompetent here, and let's play some Halcyon 6 Light Speed Edition. So, this game is free on Epic, and I thought to myself, why not? Looks cool. My buddy Fading recommended it, and I thought I'd give it a whirl. So here we go. It is February 2021. I have never played this game before. I already liked pixelated graphics and the sci-fi theme. Let's dive in. Okay, so here we go. This is the main campaign. And it says, this starts the Halcyon 6 main campaign. Normal, you have some experience with space strategy games. Um, I do. Difficulty, Commander. Um, okay. So there's a, a million amounts of difficulty level. And it's kind of like Civilization, where you have just a boatload of difficulties. You can also apparently play in Iron Man mode, which says you play with a single save that is automatically updated as you progress through the game and rerolls for officer selection are disabled. Um, I Maybe at one point I would want to play this just for the giggles, but right now I don't know what I'm doing, and I might want to reload to not just devastate myself. Um, I can skip the prologue, but I don't want to because I know nothing about the game. So let's dive in. Oh my gosh, this is hilarious. Okay, for half a millennium, the spacefaring races of the galaxy fought and conspired against one another for supremacy. Yeah, that'll happen. But it was the Terran Federation, through the ingenuity and bravery of its officer class, that ultimately prevailed. Alright, so I guess humans? Through the discovery and utilization of ancient artifacts left over from a long-dead precursor alien race. That's kind of cheating, isn't it? They put an end to the disastrous series of wars between the factions. Well, that's kind of good. Um, but I sense something wrong. One of these precursor artifacts is your home, Halcyon 6. So we somehow discovered this space base, and we use it to assert our will over the universe and prevent people from fighting. We're not people, just different coalitions of species, I guess. The crown jewel of the Terran precursor discoveries, the Starbase acts as the Federation's home base in the Halcyon Sector. Okay? Commanded by Admiral Brahmachandra, the Federation's most decorated officer and protected by the 12th Fleet, the Starbase is permanently staffed with a variety of Federation officers with the mission of unlocking its mysteries. Okay, um, so I saw on the description of the game on Epic that there's, it's a base building deep strategy game. And so I guess we're going to be base building up this Halcyon, which we don't really know everything about, but we have like scientists on staff working to try to discover its secrets and that's cool today however the station has received some unwelcome news a garbled hypercast ordering the 12th fleet's return to federation space uh-oh you don't want to get garbled hypercasts that say come back right away with the intention of returning as soon as possible to continue the work on the experiment Admiral Brahmachandra leaves you in charge of the station. Me? That's a big responsibility there, Admiral Brem. Um, okay. And so now there's a little... This appears to be a robot that says, prepare for warp. Um, okay, so before I prepare for warp, I'm just going to take in the UI here. So, here's a spiral galaxy, I guess. Um, and the new Terran Federation sits here. Here's Halcyon 6. We're on day one. It is 8 a.m. And we've got some star map, star base, 
ship management, construction, a tech tree, officer quarters. I did read this, that you have to, like, manage your crew and that that was a part of the game. So there's a little bit of a management element here. Um, equipment, main menu, and then I've got some stats. I have drones. Well, you need drones, right? We have 335 crew members, zero materials, zero dark matter, zero fuel. The crew morale is at 75%. That's not that good. And the station is at full health. Okay, let's prepare for warp. Someone's clicking this, and here we go. Um... And Commander McLaurin says, Admiral, we've arrived at the rendezvous point, and there's no sign of the welcoming force. No hypercast signals detected either. Think we're early? Um, I don't even know if that's possible. Of course we're not early. Admiral Brim says, broaden your signal detection, Captain. The 4th and 8th fleets are expected to join us as well, and those Titan-class ships should be hard to miss. Lieutenant Commander Rogers says, Admiral, I'm picking up something. Definitely not Federation in origin. Some kind of whatever it is. It's getting stronger, sir. I've never seen anything like this before, sir. Some kind of portal. Yeah, it looks like a portal. It's a huge gaping hole. Um, it's larger than the new Terran Federation. Admiral, I'm suddenly getting multiple ship readings, all heading for our position. Um, that's very bad. They must be coming out of that thing. Okay, so we need Iron Man to close it up. And they're they're going... They passed us, and then they came back. Admiral Brim says, unknown hostiles. I repeat, unknown hostiles. We might have to get a little creative here. Um, oh, wow. Okay, this is hysterical. Um, all right, so just taking in this screen, this appears to be a turn-based RPG where I have a party of three ships and they have a party of three ships and we're gonna fight across the screen here, Destiny Even Emperor style. And I'm, I'm really enjoying this aspect of it. Let's see how this unfolds. Commander, they're powering up weapons. We should take the initiative and attack first. Click on the highlighted button to attack with the incisor beam power. Okay, so I guess um, one of my ships, I'm not sure which one is going right now, um, has this incisor beam, and it's giving me very specific information about its damage range its hit percentage and its exploit. So I'm gonna click this and okay, this person down here, is this Rogers? She's gonna fire this um, and we're gonna target the spiked alien to fire the incisor beam. So this is Chirul. They have 1200 hit points, so let's just hit them. Sweet, look at that laser, just ripped off some health. Um, okay, next, use the backstab maneuver to inflict ship disabled and prevent your enemy from attacking. Um, interesting. Uh, so I have a, a weapon called the Doom Cannon. I love that, by, by the way. Um, backstab maneuver. So this is like a, a thing that I can do by flanking them or something. Um, so I'm going to use this. Now there's a bunch of information here on the the information panel for the ability, warm up, recovery, cooldown, damage range. It shows what it inflicts, which is ship disabled, 100% chance I'm guessing, and it makes the crew panic. So we're gonna use this and we're gonna try to like stun lock this uh, ocular vessel a bit. And then we stealth up and then we do it and we disable them. And then, excellent, now select Drone Swarm Attack to attack all enemies at once. So we have Drone Swarm, um, and... It does a bunch of damage. I don't know what the cooldown 1.7 means. Is that 1.7 rounds, or... S we'll find out. Um, okay, and this hits everybody. Um, so we'll just target somebody and it hits them all enemies 
Oh boy, they were not really too damaged by that. Enemies have resistances and vulnerabilities against specific status effects. It is extremely important that you take advantage of this. You can right-click on an enemy to view their vulnerabilities and resistances, okay? Um, oh my. Alright, so I can see all their, their stuff here by right-clicking on them. Alright, so let's see what's going on. So they're attacking us. Um, the ocular vessel seems to be powering up a large attack. Shield yourself with protective field to mitigate the damage. Okay, so how do I know that? Um, it looks like you can't stun lock them again for a, a, a little bit of time. And then... I guess I'm going to use this protective field. And it hits everybody. And it gives them this ability, which we don't... Um, let me target an ally. Okay, we'll just do this. So now we get this protective field. And then um, the ocular vessel still has the ship disabled status. Fire bridge shot to combo and exploit the ship disabled status effect for extra damage. Oh, okay. Um, Alright, so I'm just hovering over the tooltip for protective field. And it says it gives 25% damage resist. I see. Okay, so let's do this. Bridge shot 3. And we'll target them. And we we exploit that and we ooh, we did a, a massive amount of damage thank you sir did you see that rogers don't get too cocky commander they're not dead yet no they're not um great combos occur when you, an attack exploits a s status effect like ship disabled interesting oh my god select the acid bomb's power to attack your enemies doing damage over several rounds okay um all right, so we'll do that. Acid bombs is like a damage over time. Um, okay, and we'll hit them all. And yeah, take that. Acid bomb. Oh my god. That looked really bad. Engines down. Oh no, we're getting wrecked now. Okay, so we were like having a good time. And then they just took it to the next level. When ships are in critical condition, any further damage could result in complete destruction. Use Cauterize Hall to repair the ship immediately, okay? We'll Cauterize their hull. Um, now select Strafing Run to try and finish them off. Alright, so this hits all enemies. Whoa! This is ridiculous. This does a lot of damage, okay? Um, so we got one ship. Great job. However, the Admiral is still in bad shape. Select the Repair Drone Overdrive Power to Repair. All repair abilities have a limited number of uses per mission and must be replenished by returning to Halcyon 6. Ooh, wow, that's really interesting. Um, so you can't just heal up repeatedly. All right. Um, we will target the Admiral's Paladin to repair itself over time and remove any negative status effects okay so the drones are flying around and healing us oh my gosh we got death beam on us um use the ninja's doom cannon as a last resort it can only be used once so make it count okay um so this does a big amount of damage and um target this guy so we can do like half of its health here doom cannon Oh, no. So, I hit him, but then something broke off and hit us back. Commander McLaurin's ninja is in critical condition, is taking damage over time from hull ruptured. If it's not repaired immediately, it might be restored. Or destroyed, I'm sorry. Um, yikes. The Warlock's cauterized hull repair power has no more uses left. Your only hope is to use stasis lock to disable the enemy, okay? Um, so let's try to lock this target down, I guess. And they resisted it. Um, now finish it off with the Paladin's Dreadnought Ram. Um, whoa, this does ridiculous damage. So we can kill this ship, smash him. That was pretty good. Uh-oh. Admiral, I don't... Th we've lost a ship, but the battle is almost won. 
Number one, no. Select solar flare to finish it off. All right, tap it. I love the, the battle effects in this game. They look really good. Okay, we did it. Admiral, we're picking up more of those portals on the sensor. Uh, get out of there, run. Bail. Um, this is bad. We're being surrounded. Admiral, we need to jump now. Back to Halcyon 6. I've got... Uh-oh. Oh, no. Look at this thing. This is like an enemy from Gradius. Uh, oh, God. Indeed. What is that? Dang. Jump for now. For God's sake, jump now. Did they make it? Commander, we seem to have lost our hypercast link with Admiral Brem at Chandra and the 12th Fleet. Oh, no. Well, that doesn't... This is a bad day. This is a real bad day. We lost the Admiral and some really good crew, and now I'm in charge of um, the station, and there's evil alien death ships coming in through the portals. With the 12th fleet destroyed and little information as to whether the Federation still even stands, you and your crew are stranded in hostile alien territory, cut off from resupply, and in desperate need of more crew. Great. You have little choice but to continue working on Admiral Brem's experiment to try to unlock the power of the station. Meanwhile, enemies may soon catch wind of the Federation's weakness and use that as an opportunity to strike and claim the station for themselves. Oh, no. Choose your first officer. Okay. Um, well, I can choose between a physicist, a strategist, and a mechanic. Um, so... These are all important. I have no idea which choice to make. Um, but where I'm at right now, I want a strategist um, in play so that we can just try to survive. Physics, that seems important. We can do that later. And then mechanics, yes, that's if things go even worse. Um, so I'll just do this for now. Tactical officers are the most daring and quick-thinking officers in the Federation. Their power repertoire consists of sneak attacks, immobilization attacks, and combo attacks, while their buff powers can often add aim and damage boost to friendly units. In space combat, tactical officers are able to command tactical ships, which are the hardest hitting of the three ship classes, tactical science and engineering. Okay, so I'm assuming this would be physics and this would be mechanics. Um, I'm going to pick this. I, I like stun lock and, you know, I, I can try the other ones another time. But I think, you know, I need somebody. I like the hard hitting DPS too. We just need to be in combat mode. Confirm choice. Sorry to wake you, Commander, but it looks like we have a situation. Our sensors have picked up a fleet coming our direction. The signals suggest a pirate origin. Well, what else would they suggest? All right, so here's something bad over here. We should expect them to arrive in 48 hours. Oh, okay. Um, in the case of hostilities, The experiment may be our only hope to defend ourselves. The crew will work around the clock to make the necessary preparations. Okay. Commander, the oncoming fleet we detected has just entered our space. It's a single pirate ship, likely hostile. Patching them through now. Rarzub Toe Slicer McCormick. Why would you slice toes? Okay. Federation Starbase, our scouts detected the departure of your fleet over a week ago. You're now at the mercy of Admirak Zeb and the Zealots Clan. Hand over to Starbase, and we will allow you to return to Federation space. Thank you. Comply, or we will commence orbital bombardment. Um, 
I'm not really worried about that. Uh, this is the scenario screen. This screen will appear during missions that require key decisions such as attacking, retreating, or using an officer to gain a special outcome. In this case, the pirate fleet is demanding your surrender. Choose the response below. Hint, you should choose to reject the surrender. That's right, we're not going to surrender. I forgot, you Federiles love your precursor toys. Prepare for bombardment, Federation scum. I mean, was that necessary? Commander, in light of this development, we should now begin initializing the experimental starship creation process. Okay. Press on ship construction. The Rogue Class Tactical Vessel is currently the only starship the Starbase can build. Oh, okay. Well, build it right away. Now press the Construct Ship button to get it started. So it has three combat slots in the equipment. Yeah, 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 make it. Now press the Construct button to confirm and add the starship to the queue. So we, we make this, and this is like going to fill up our party, I guess, on that screen that we just saw. So this ship can hold 38 people, and it takes 375 dark matter to construct. Now we have enough materials. It will take a few days, but the bad guys are here now. Three days? To skip time, you'll first need to return to the star map. Press the star map button. Okay. Press here to skip time. All right. I did that. But what are the bad guys doing? Just waiting while I build the ship? Commander, we're ready to launch in T minus three seconds. M matter creator deployed. So we're... We just made that, I guess, with the ship. Commander, the experiment was a success. All scans suggest this newly constructed ship to be combat ready. She just requires an officer to command her. All right, so this super powerful spaceship, or space station, I should say, rather, made this spaceship in three days. And all things considered, that's a really impressive feat. This would take a long time to produce. I mean, just think about... Um, Corellian construction crews working on this, you know, and how long that would take normally, right? Um, so this thing is good. However, I am puzzled. I thought they said they were going to commence with the bombardment. Are they bombarding my space station or am I orbiting some planet that they're wrecking? I don't... Or maybe they just are gentlemen and they're just going to wait for me to marshal up a fleet and then attack once I'm adequately prepared. I like that, if they're going to do that. Um, so let's pick an officer, right? So our this is our officer here. Select your first officer, Corbain Lau, to assign him to the new rogue ship. So these are breaking down some kind of stats that this officer has. I don't know what they are, but let's do it. We only have one choice. To dispatch this ship, you'll need to return to the star map by pressing here. Or I can press F1, which they don't want me to do right now. So let's just click this. Um, the enemy fleet is stationed at the Starbase Approach. Select it now. All right, so... Um, okay. Press the Send Fleet button to dispatch a fleet to this location. Okay, so actually up here it says Starbase Approach. The approach to the Starbase. Any enemy fleets wishing to bombard Halcyon 6 will likely take this exact position. Okay, so that's where we are, and it says press send fleet. All right, and so we can select, we have three slots. Press the top select a ship slot and add your newly built ship. Rogue Tactical Tier 1. Finally, select launch fleet to dispatch your fleet to the selected location. Okay, launch it. Hey, the pirate ship swoops into attack position attack the pirate ship all right so luckily there's only the one and it looks terrible it looks nothing like the horrifying ships that we saw before before every battle you can prepare your ships by configuring their loadouts use this opportunity to select the abilities that take advantage of your enemy's vulnerabilities if you can okay so let's see what are their vulnerabilities so they don't like um Here's their resistances. So they're terrible against engines down. 
and they're good against crew panic. Okay, so what do we have? We have um, engines down. So crippling shots should just annihilate this. Um, evasive maneuvers. Perform evasive maneuvers, thereby forfeiting your opportunity to attack, but you get plus one or plus ten evasion for one round. I don't really know how to quantify that yet, so we'll see. Um, engines down. Oops. Uh, it's cool down for two seconds. So we can put down their engines. Sensors offline and sabotage. Um, do I, can I even change my loadout? Yeah, okay, I can. Like, um, disabling strike, triple shot, bullseye. So I do have way more. This is interesting. I mean, I'm just starting out, right, with the first ship in the game, and I have six attacks that I can choose between. But they're good against crew panic. They're good against um, vulnerable weapons, and they're pretty good against destructions or uh, disruption. So let's just go with this and engage them. All right. So it's our turn. So let's just do this because they don't like it. Um, so they're vulnerable, so we get 50% chance to hit, and they're vulnerable, so we also get more damage. So in these. Um, looks like square brackets over here in the orange text it tells you the benefit that you're getting for attacking their vulnerability all right down here at the bottom you can also see there's a turn order so let's just hit him boom and we did spray and pray and we just they hit us back with their attack but we did like about half their health and we took down their engines um and so this basically if we take down their engines it slows down their speed, which down here you can see they still will get to go next turn, but then after that, we're going to get to act twice in a row. So that's pretty slick. Um, this is cooling down. Do we want to harass them, uh, teleport explosives, or this? Um, I think we do harass, and it gives extra damage here. And it has a 100% chance to hit. We could actually theoretically kill them. Well, no, we couldn't. If this plus 15 is already factored into this spread, then we can't. But let's just see what happens. Boom. Oh, they hit... They're hitting the base. Interesting. That's a bad decision. So we get three attacks in a row. Um, so let's just do... Um, oops. Uh, this one. Teleport explosives. If I was going to hit him... I would do... Yeah, they're dead. Let's just do this. There's some bombs on your ship. We gotcha. That sound effect, by the way, was hysterical. Um, okay, so we won the battle, and we got some materials, some dark matter, and a smoke expeller. Um, so this is something that we can equip on our ship, I guess? Interesting. Wow, this is cool. Let's see how this plays out. My first victory of many. That's right, Corbain. Commander, we have a long-range hypercast coming in, putting it through now. From time to time, the leaders of various factions may contact you via the station bridge. Oh. This guy looks really nice. I don't believe we've met. Feel free to refer to me as the Admirax. Okay, I won't. A title that denotes my supreme command over the pirate clans in this sector. Okay. Now, Commander, or should I say, Acting Commander. My spies tell me I should congratulate you on your new post. They've also informed me that your fleet has fled the sector, leaving you on your own. And so I'm giving you the courtesy of informing you that we'll be visiting you very soon. And this is my territory. Ooh, your eyes are red and scary um, and so your station belongs to me no that's not accurate and unlucky for you I've united all the pirate clans to help me take it wow you've united all the the clans huh that's uh that is not good for me we got Mance Raider here coming at us 
I highly suggest you turn tail and return to Federation space. No, the Federation space is all messed up with these warp things. We can't go back there. If you are of another mind, stay where you are and prepare for your deaths. Oh, okay, yeah, we'll just prepare. Oh, here they come. Well, they're coming in fast. Um, Chez Slob Choker Grunvald. Time for death, Federation pig. I will avenge the death of Razerb Toe Slicer and deliver this station to the Admirax. I applaud your confidence. Next time, apply it more constructively. Yeah, that's right. Oh, they've got two ships. But they're really small ones. They only have 200 hit points, and they are... Um, they don't like engines down again. And they have the same kind of stats, and they have the same ability, spray and pray. Um, but... What about my new thing? It looks like I don't get to equip that new thing that I got yet. Um, I mean, this thing, it hits everybody, which is sweet, but it takes warm-up too, so it's going to take too long. Um, weapons disruption. Bullseye. I'll just keep what I have for now. This looks fine. Alright, let's get him. Here they come. That wasn't so bad. Alright. That actually was kind of bad. Um, Alright, let's cripple this one. Crypt. Alright, so they're a little bit slower. Oh, we dodged. Well, you know, maybe I should evasive maneuvers next time. I don't know how long this buff lasts for. Um, oh, no, it's, it's only for one round. Uh, I don't see it being useful unless they're, like, preparing for a huge attack or something. All right, so 100 damage would be good. Do we have 100 on us? Uh, we actually do. But this one is... Well, let's just try to take it down. Almost. Still alive. That's right. Okay, let's go ahead and um, just teleport explosives. We can kill this one. And then... Oh, man, we didn't actually kill it. There it goes. It took the damage over time. All right, then now let's, let's crippling shot this one. And then... Um, I need to do... Well, what's my damage? I don't have enough to kill. So I'm going to go back, and we'll do this one first. And the reason I'm going to do this is it'll do damage over time, and then our next shot will kill. And if it doesn't, we'll clean up the trash. But there we go. We got it. Took half health. Okay. We, we get the same kind of rewards. You know, I think I actually prefer it when I'm outnumbered. You can always return your fleet to the starbase by first selecting your desired fleet. Okay this one and then press return home you can replenish all your permission limited use abilities like repairs and epic powers when you return to the base okay do that commander the crew is eager to regain our full sensor capabilities to do that we'll require an extra source of energy the good news is the tech research team has figured out a way to harness the station's core reactor with a smaller standard issue diotherum reactor Okay. Um, press on the tech research button to go to the tech screen. Here we are. Um, wow, cool. Reactor. Diothrium. Diothrium. Tech research on how to build a diothrium reactor on Halcyon 6 to power the starbase generates plus 20 power. So this will take 150 um, parts and 75 yeah, dark matter. We got all this. Let's do it. With the diothrium reactor tech research, it's time to create a space in the station for the reactor itself. Press on the starbase button. Okay. Um, oh, okay. When this opens up like this and you get to the base building, it's um, it's kind of like Fallout Shelter, I suppose. Uh, so 
select the ruined room below the tech research archives. Okay, this one, I guess. And press on the add officer button. Okay. And select your first officer to assign him to the job. And it'll take him two days. Do it. And then it must be cleared. So we're just making this guy. He's like fighting our battles for us. And then we're like, go clean this up. It's a mess. And he's like, oh, okay. Um, uh, I'll do that. All right, so he's doing that. To skip time, return to the star map. And press here. All right, Commander, we've cleared out that section you asked for. So we got some experience and some materials. Um, show location. They've cleared the room. And... Now we can put in the diothrium reactor. Now that the room is cleared, select this. And so it's 200 parts, and we can build it, and it's going to give us 20 power, but it's going to take three days. And each one gives us an additional 20 power per day. Um, okay. Construct it. Return to the star map, and skip time. Okay. But the pirates, they're over here. What about the pirates? My god, man, the pirates. The section station is fully powered, Commander, and our sensors are back online. Great. We've compiled a navigational map of all Federation systems and facilities. As loyal members of the Federation officer class, it is our duty to protect these facilities at all costs. Okay. So I'm like the Federation in Star Trek, I guess, and I'm just like... Anyway, whatever. Let's do it. In the case of attack, these facilities will transmit distress signals to us. Depending on the level of danger in the area, you may wish to evacuate them. Yeah, you're right about that. Distress signals will always be listed in the missions panel. Press here to access it. Okay. Um, distressed refinery. Ghost head. Missions with specific locations will have a go to button for convenience. Yeah, let's go to. Okay, it's right here. Send your fleet to the nearby nebula. All right, so I click on it, and then I can push send the fleet. Type nebula. Nebula contain pockets of rare gas that can be refined into warp fuel. Distressed refinery. The fuel refinery at Ghost Head Nebula is calling for help against a never-before-encountered alien vessel. Uh-oh. I hope it's not those bug things. We might want to just bail on this one. Um, all right, so... The ship is, is healed, um, and we can launch the ship. There's an alien infector ship. It's going to take three fuel. We have five. That's a lot, actually, um, but we'll do it. And here they are. It's a brain ship with eyeballs. You know, the brain, it needs eyeballs. All right, so what are you about? You don't like hull breach. So let's get some stuff that has hull breach. Um, do I have hull breach? Uh, vulnerable. Sabotaged. Sensors offline. Weapons disruption. Engines down. Vulnerable. Not really. Um, what else you got? Well, vulnerable weapons you don't like either, so... Um, this does sabotage and vulnerable. This does sensors offline. Does a lot of damage, though, but... Are you good against sensors offline? Yeah, you're strong against that, actually. So let me edit this, and maybe we should take this out and um, instead put in... Um just bullseye I guess no you know what we should put in bullseye instead of teleport explosives because it's just enough um, it's just like does all the damage up front and you know so let's go for that all right let's first go ahead and cripple them and we are at a situation where they can dodge this. Hopefully not. We got them. Um, okay, good. And they're going to be a little bit slower, so we get to act twice in a row. And let's go ahead and 
Um, see if we can hit this. Bam. And then they have 71. Can we do that much here? Yeah, we actually, we kill them because they're weak to this. So, boom. We didn't even take a damage. That's what happens. All right. Materials, dark matter, boom. Good thing you turned up when you did, sir. Whatever that vessel was, it managed to chew up our only sentry ship a few days ago. Did some nasty damage to our refinery also. My crew's pretty shaken up. The good news is we've got some fuel reserves from before the attack. Just give the word. We'll transfer them over to you. Um, so, by saving them... we get 15 fuel to the fleet, and then every day they are generating a fuel. So that's good, because we had very little. Um, okay, there we go. Return your fleet to the starbase to unload any resources you collected. Okay, go back. And we got 15 fuel. And we have completed the objectives, and we get some materials, and we collect the reward. Commander, with all of the recent events, the crew felt it necessary to create a short briefing for you. Here it is. Um, oh, Wow, okay. So here we go. Upgrade the Starbase and the fleet. Recover Federation facilities. Investigate the pirates. So how do I upgrade the Starbase and the fleet? Um, building new room modules will require first carving out habitable space in the Starbase by assigning officers to explore its ruined modules. There we should build an officer academy to enable officer recruitment. Or then, I should say. That way we can train new officers to command any starships we build via the ship construction room. Good idea. Okay. Um, recover Federation facilities. Following the invasion by those mysterious flesh vessels. Disgusting. Most of the Federation is destroyed. However, some facilities seem to have been overlooked in the attack. We should send our fleets to explore the area in order to make contact with any survivors. Very good. Yep, we want to have as much resource production as we can. And then Space Pirates. We've been raided by pesky space pirates in this sector. Once we have a functioning fleet, we should pick off some of their smaller ships in order to gain a better idea of what we're up against. It seems smart. All right. So now they've basically given us a sense of, I suppose, the tutorial in the game. So we can now click Start the Game. Before you start... You should directly promote a new officer from the ranks. I've prepared a list of suitable officers for you to choose from. All right, perfect. So we could go um, with another strategist, a physicist, or an inventor. Um, and I think, honestly, that we should get a scientist going. Um, you know, I don't know, but... This was my second choice. I want them all, but I don't want another strategist. So let's go ahead and get Katrina on board here. Good choice. You can never have too many science officers if I say so myself. Okay. Um, and the game is paused. We're on day 15. We have all of these areas that we can go to. Um... I guess this is our fleet, or these are places to maybe send the fleet. We have two officers. We need to build ships. We need to carve out rooms. We have missions and notifications. Wow, cool. Well, now the game has officially opened up for us, and I'm excited to see more of this and make actual decisions, kind of get off the rails a little bit and see what's going on with the game. I enjoy the introduction so far. And I'm curious what you all think about the prologue to the game, the tutorial, the feel of it, what kind of a game this is going to be. Please leave your thoughts and considerations in the comments below, and I'd love to chat with you about it. And I will check you guys in the next episode of Let's Play Halcyon 6 so we can dive into more of the game itself. All right, everybody. Thanks again for watching. I hope you have an excellent evening or day. Take care.